Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another fabulous edition of Theater Talk at 3 o'clock. My lovely guests here with me, as always, Yuki and Michelle. How are y'all? Great. I Great. just want to wish everybody a happy new year. Yes. yes. It's the first Theater Talk of 2023. I know. Can you believe it? Happy new year, everybody. We made it. <laughs> We still have six months to go for the season, and we've got a lot of great shows coming up. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so for those who may be, you know, unfamiliar with SAPAC, let's talk a little bit about y'all first um, and what people are going to see, what they're going to experience when they come out to the campus. So first of all, you know, I think San Angel is really blessed to have a place like SAPAC because yes, um, we can compare ourselves to other cities like Austin, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, because we have a performing arts center now. Right. And a lot of cities in West Texas can't say that. I know Wagner Noel in Midland, and they have Buddy Holly Hall up in Lubbock, but, you know, for a town our size, it's yeah. pretty remarkable. And, no competition. And, and, no and, competition. And, and the other th- <laughs> great, great thing is we're an independent nonprofit. Yes. You know, so that means we, ha- we can curate a lot of the shows that we bring in and really try to connect with the people and support the local arts organizations here in San Angelo as well. Yeah, and I think that's, I'm glad you mentioned that because a lot of people may not realize that y'all are a nonprofit. And so that's very important to put out there. (laughs) Well, and and, and San Angelo is teaming with performing arts nonprofits. You've got Symphony, the Ballet, San Angelo Broadway Academy, B Theater, Angelo Civic Theater, and all of these nonprofits work together to bring the best performances to the people of San Angelo to help you know, create a really dynamic and vibrant um, quality of life for us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, um, so speaking of quality of life, there's some quality performances coming up. Um, you want to go dive right into them? The yes. Malpas Brothers? The Malpas Brothers. So yes. this was an interesting one. It started with a phone call from oh, really? some young lady. And I say young because young in heart <laughs> and mind, uh, maybe a bit more senior than I am. She gave me a phone call and said, hey, have you ever thought about bringing the Malpas Brothers? Yeah. Why not? They're really popular here in uh, Texas. They've hit, you know, Brownwood, Ballinger, Brady, a lot of places. <coughs> yeah. Said, sure, we'll check them out. And we got them on the calendar. That is amazing. And it started with a phone call, somebody giving you all a suggestion, and you carry through with it. Mm-hmm. We do. And it's like recently on Facebook, I was asking a question. What yeah. type of music do people want to hear and see and say back? And we've got a really good response. You know, I know there's a lot of... Uh, people who want to see heavy metal, yeah, blues, yeah. and a gr- great variety of things. So yeah. we're looking at that coming coming seasons too. We definitely oh. listen. We take those things to heart, and we try really hard to make things happen. And yeah. sometimes, you know, our our people think we're a little crazy because we're, hey, have you heard of them? Have you heard? Of them? <laughs> you know, we just run everything up the flagpole. Yeah, but we have an artistic advisory committee that helps shape these things. So oh, wow, it's really going to be a great season. Oh. This the remainder of this season and next season. That is amazing. So it really is a community and group effort. Yes. Wow. Because that I think awesome. I think we want to be able to provide the entertainment that people in San Angelo want to see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. the great thing about San Angelo is it's such a diverse um, flavor of right. different music. And we, we are like a growing live music Very much destination so. here oh, in yeah. West Texas. Very much so. Um, and you can see it all. You can see if in some places that have heavy metal Others that just specialize in country and blues. Yeah. So we want to be part of that landscape. That is amazing. Well, okay, so we were just talking about the Malpas Brothers. We actually have a video to show. Are you all ready to do that? Yes. Okay, then we'll talk about them a little bit more. Here we go, folks. The Malpas Brothers are coming to the SAPAC stage. Their performance includes outstanding family harmonies featuring songs by music legends, original music, and, of course, comedic brotherly banter. The Malpass Brothers music is steeped in the legacy of the Leuven Brothers, Johnny Cash, Marty Robbins, Hank Williams Sr., and more. Count on classic real country. Count on new Malpass tunes. Count on a couple of old-time traditional gospels. Count on a good time. January 13th, 2023. Tickets on sale now. Well, I can see why uh, they're a fan favorite. Absolutely. If you can rock that pompadour, you can uh, rock that Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> it's exactly. a good sign. It is a good sign. Yeah, it and, is. And it's like all the classic country styles that mm-hmm. people love and enjoy. 
and it's story great storytelling yeah and it also includes some of their own original malthus brother music so it's like gonna be a great performance that's amazing yeah some of those you know the good old classics that i think everybody i mean they're called classics for a reason right and so <laughs> if you love that. going to the cowboy <laughs> gathering here in san angelo and some right. of the other great events that we have going yes. on you will love the show Oh, fantastic. Okay, so our tickets are already available for that. They are available. Okay, because it's coming up, right? It's like... It is on when, Friday the 13th. Friday, dun, yes. Dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I think what people don't really know until you come to a performance uh -huh. of Back 2 is just how sometimes engaging the performance right. performers are and how they right. draw you in. And there's some moments in there you weren't expecting. So it is entertainment on a lot of different levels. We found that out with Lori Morgan. She's very engaging. Yeah few people they'll just pull you in not only with their music but with their engagement so oh. and the comedy i mean i didn't yeah. expect oh, yeah. Morgan, Morgan to be so funny on stage <laughs> yeah. but she was a brilliant performer connected yeah. with the audience and i i enjoyed my time there too I did too that's awesome and i noticed yeah. that you know you get a lot of that with like country performances is you get the great music yeah then you have a storytelling it's infused with comedy so you leave there happy elated oh yeah exactly and i think you leave there too rooting for the performers yeah. you're excited to see where they're going to go next and what they'll do and if they'll come back and so there, it all falls into the storyline of oh yeah of san angelo performing arts center yeah and i mean we've talked about this before you know it, that that's just a, such an energetic place and the performers feed off the energy from the crowd the crowd from the performers back and forth and so it's just i mean it's an amazing cycle that people get to be a part of Absolutely. Oh. And I think Notre Buena proved that to a oh, lot yeah. of people that went and maybe to the Murphy for the very first time. So mm -hmm. I think people are really starting to see that we're not just theater. We're not just yeah. films. We're not just, we're all of that. Yeah. And a bag of chips. All of that and a bag of chips. Yes. <laughs> they can't take I it to Murphy because food is not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat your chips before but you go. There you go. <laughs> oh my goodness okay you just sold everybody all that yeah <laughs> yep that is awesome okay so we got to talk about this next performance too because okay the malpas brothers is the 13th respect yeah so respect the retha franklin story yes. is gonna be like a broadway style yeah. show music storytelling so you know that's another thing i love about sapac is the fact that you can bring in the larger shows and mm -hmm. that's only been within the last um five, six years, because before they renovated the Murphy Performance right. Hall, you couldn't back up enough trailers to oh, load no. some There's of these no bigger room. shows. Yeah. Yeah. But now we have that facility, and yeah. over the past five years, since SafeX has been around, it's just been bringing in great shows, yeah. you know, like Respect, and that's going to be a wonderful experience as well. So if you want to kick off the new year with yeah. a Broadway experience, that's the show. That's the go. one to go to. Okay, so we do have another video for that, so we are going to take a look at that right now. Coming to San Angelo, an electrifying tribute celebrating the music of legendary Aretha Franklin. It's R-E-S-P-E-C-T. This concert experience takes audiences on a journey of love, tragedy, courage, and triumph. Starring a live band and supreme vocalists, come experience a night of music from one of the greatest artists of all time. Hear your favorite hits including Natural Woman, Think, I Knew You Were Waiting For Me, Chain of Fools, Respect, and many more. Lose yourself in the music that inspired a generation on January the 20th at 7.30 p.m. in the Murphy Performance Hall. Get your tickets now. Talk about some energy. <laughs> oh, yeah. it. It's going to be an amazing show. I'm so yeah. excited, personally. I can't wait to hear the live music and oh, yeah. just watch what they're going to do. It's such a story of triumph and mm. courage. And she just overcame so much. It's just yeah. a great feeling that you'll leave there with. Yeah, that's amazing. And I think everybody, okay, you have to spell it. Like, you can't just say respect. <laughs> you have to spell it. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Exactly. Yeah, every time you say, I mean, it's just <laughs> that alone kind of gets you in the mood to have a good yeah. time. And you know it's going to be awesome. You do. Yeah. Can't wait. Oh, that's amazing. So, okay, that one's January 20th. It is. Okay. Coming up. Back-to-back -back weeks. It's, I was about to say, it's. we're talking entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. You know, I think by the end of this season, we'll have had... 90 different productions <gasps> which equals about 120 performances wow and about 218 days of rehearsals load in load out prep wow yeah so you've said it before yuki um what would you tell the people who say oh there's nothing to do and San Angelo? <laughs> <laughs> you know that's one of my biggest frustrations i i heard that actually during um absolutely christmas yeah we had yeah two guests that came in from California. Mm -hmm. They were here for Goodfellas Exodus when all the soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines depart for home right. over the holidays. And they had come in to give some briefings on um, 
services available to service members in case there's an emergency. Yeah, yeah. And they said, they asked some colleagues at Goodfellow, hey, what's there to do? And the person said, there's nothing to do in San Angelo. <gasps> but they happened to look online and they found SAPAC and they said, we're going to go to Absolutely Christmas. And they attended and they had a blast. That is awesome. And so that's one of the great things is, you know, from a tourist perspective. Yeah. You no, know, San Angelo is not only a live, uh, I'm sorry, um, a visual arts capital of yeah. Texas. San Angelo is emerging to be a performing arts capital in West Texas because yes. we have so much going on, you know, not just in SAPAC, but across all the performing arts yeah. uh, in, in this great city. Exactly. So don't ever say that again, especially in front of you. <laughs> be, well, because, you know, we, we've got shows going on. The Broadway Academy's got shows. The Symphony yes, has some yeah. shows coming up. Uh, ballet has their shows as well programmed. Yeah. And if you want to check out ACT, you can always go to their um, theater on Sherwood Way to of see course. what they've got going on. So it's a really uh, full schedule. And this yeah. weekend, B Theater has another That's bad right. improv this That's weekend. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, okay, there's always something going on. Um, and speaking of another performer coming in um michael lee martin i'm sorry it's william lee martin william lee martin william lee martin <laughs> william lee martin is will be here on the 21st that saturday yeah. at the brooks and bates theater uh it'll be a great show i mean he's been wow. doing comedy since 1996 and if you want to have a wholesome family-oriented comedy show from a tried and true texan oh there we go so this is the one it's family friendly yeah bring bring the kids bring everybody yeah okay okay i remember him most from the four o'clock daily talk during covid yeah he would come on and have a positive moment throughout right. the day or something cool to cling to and sometimes some days i was really ready for four o'clock oh yeah that. i need exactly. a positive you're home with your family and you know and yeah like, okay where's the bright spot and so yeah. i think he brings a lot of comedy a lot of positivity and just funny He's so yeah. funny. We, we all love to laugh. We need to laugh, yes, right? So absolutely. So come give him a chance for sure. Yes. Great. That is amazing. Okay, so we got to talk about, um, again, where to get tickets, how to get tickets. So the best place to get tickets is online, uh -huh. sanangelpac.org, because it's always open 24-7. <laughs> Can't beat that. Can't, but, no, not at all. Um, the box office is open Tuesdays through Fridays mm -hmm. from 10 till 6. If you want a curated experience uh, and advice from the box office manager on which is best seats in the house you can always visit in person you always save 10 percent off of the internet fee and um you know just get you get a chance to meet us in person and we're yes. a really cool group of people to get to know they will sign autographs if you ask them they will sign <laughs> <laughs> yes and if you happen to be there on a monday because you forget the box office is closed on mondays yeah. i'm always there so i can sell you tickets too there you go there you go so hey go visit them go see them in person um so okay again y'all have so much going on so we went through january but february we want to go ahead and tell people to mark their calendars for a couple of yes. uh, upcoming things yeah so on three february I, yeah I, I know on the climatology reports, it's the coldest day of the year, <laughs> but we're going to have a hangar dance out at Skyline Aviation. Nice. It's going to be part of our Thistle Affair, which is an annual fundraising event. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're excited to have it there because it's something that San Angelo's never seen before. And we're all about creating new experiences, yeah. exciting experiences, fun things to do. Um, and it's just a great time to come out and support the performing arts because you know, we rely on community support for yeah just putting on a show and maintaining the facilities exactly i mean what better way to contribute you go and you have fun you're not even thinking about anything like that yeah, you're just having fun. we're gonna have some great food from peasant village oh nice um, music from the west texas uh jazz orchestra nice. i've invited swing cats up from abilene christian university to come dancing so we might have a dance class for Ooh. people who are interested we have okay. an option we have a 360 camera with a backdrop of an airplane, vintage aircraft, oh, cool. live and in person. So no matter how cold it gets, yeah, we're gonna power through it. Yeah, <laughs> we're have fun no matter what. Yeah. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have heaters. And oh we'll yeah, okay, good. Liquor. So and so you're fine. <laughs> too, sorry, the combination sorry. of those two, you're fine. You're gonna be fine. You're yeah. Yeah. yeah, that is awesome. Okay, it's so really be Thistle Affair. Show. Yeah, that's the Thistle Affair. And can people go ahead and get their tickets now for that? Tickets yes. are on sale online and more information is available. So if any businesses out there want to help sponsor mm, the event, yes. we've got sponsorship opportunities. Okay. Um, we can buy a table um, or individual tickets. Right. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's going to be a fun event. 
something you've never seen before in San Angelo, and that's our goal. And yeah. we have some great ideas for future Thistle Affairs, too. Oh, so. okay. Stay yeah, these some awesome auction items as well, <sighs> like Fiji Paradise you can bid on. Wow. You can bid on. We're trying to solidify Game of Thrones tour in Ireland. Ireland. So what? There's some really cool things you want to come and bet on. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah, so this is, again, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but these people are fun. <laughs> And maybe a little crazy, but that's okay because we like lot, it, right? Yeah. Yes, we love it. And that's how it. you get, yeah, <laughs> that's how you get, um, you know, awesome things to bid on like this because you think outside the box and that's what y'all are all about. And that's what you want people to do with you. Absolutely. To come and have an experience yeah. that you've never had in San Angelo. Never. And may never again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, that is awesome. Okay, guys, do y'all have anything else? I know we talked about a lot, but do y'all want to add, mention anything else? Um, it's always good to me. talk about being a volunteer. Yeah, you yeah. See go, um, volunteers get in free. And so it's, you know, a little bit of your time, you get to see a show. If you want to help um, be part of the experience, you can also uh, sign up to be a freelancer. Yeah, um, yeah. Like Aretha Franklin's Respect will have a load in and a load out portion. And so we'll need some hands to help bring the show in um that's true for most of the bigger shows that mm -hmm. we have so if you want to be see what what it's like to be part of a touring show that's great because you know one of the other things i want to be able to do with SAPAC is give people experiences so that way they can go out and you know have the job related know-how right. to be competitive for jobs elsewhere in fact like our box office manager cesar martinez he's moving on to um austin here oh this month um, because he got a job at Zach Theater, which is oh, pretty wow. cool. We're That's happy awesome. for him. Uh, yeah, happy yes. for you, Caesar. That's awesome. And yes. this, we're trying to be a launch pad for other yeah. opportunities and really just a springboard to spring you forward in your career. So not only are we diverse in our programming, but we also offer great pers uh, professional development yeah. and things like that to our staff. Wow. So. And that is priceless, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah is, that is amazing. Is. That is amazing. I think it's valuable to know that, you know, the people that we raise up in St. Angela can go out, be competitive. Mm -hmm pursue their careers, and then hopefully come back with new ideas, yes. um, new goals and objectives to you know, spur the art economy in San Angelo and make it better and bigger oh. and you know, wonderful for everybody. Yeah, come back and give back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much. Um, again, is there any final thoughts or messages you want to share? Yes, I would like yeah. to invite you. Please, community, come out and see a show. Maybe you haven't been there in a while. Maybe you have something coming up that you want to see. We would love to open the door for you and welcome you into the Murphy, the Brooks and Bates, the Black Box Theater. And oh. just like and share our posts yes. on Facebook and yeah. social media because there's so many people in San Angelo that just don't know that we exist. Still. Right, right. And you can, you can pay all <laughs> the money in advertising and there's still people who don't know. So. Yeah. I know this is a word of mouth town, so just spread, spread the, the message. Yeah, spread the word. Because there's actually a lot to do in San Angelo. Yeah. We need to change the message. Yes. Because I can look at my calendar and there's always something to do, whether it's dancing at Fifi Dubois or music at the Art Museum yeah. or um, the Simply Texas Blues Festival. You can pack a calendar with things in San Angelo. Exactly. That's a whole other segment. We just have, need to have, you know, events with Yuki. Yes. <laughs> so you can give us a lowdown of everything. I, I, was just in, on. I was just in Big Spring for a Veterans uh, Administration appointment. And yeah. um, I asked them, so what do you guys do in Big Spring? And they say, we go to San Angelo because there's nothing yes. to do in Big Spring. And the last performance, we had people from Sonora, right. El Paso, San Antonio. Wow. If it's good enough for outsiders, it's yeah. good enough for San Angelo. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So uh, most definitely. Well, thank you for inviting everybody. And, you know, y'all, thank you for coming on the show thank and keeping you. us uh, in the know about everything going on. So, again, y'all can go to their website for more information or give them a call. All right. Yeah. Until next time, have a great day. Happy New Year.